Finally, I am very excited to be here. This. Yes, very intellectual leaders of our state. I don't see any other organizations that is more more well equipped than the way many of you are. I don't see. So I am very much excited to be in your mix. <laughs> now, I want to beg you for what? I have a challenge again, assist it. We are back to that condition we were when someone was started this program. If you go to your village, watch the number of youths that, that are not even interested in going to school. Let alone that they don't have money. They are not interested. And what gives them joy is that after graduating from the university, you come back and join them in the village to struggle with who will carry somebody first in Okada. That's what gives them joy. And they do ask themselves, then why do people want me to go to school? John has went to school for years now. He is struggling with us here, passenger. Who will carry this passenger first? Why should John come here and be struggling with us to get passenger? So we're about to challenge now. Why would this expansion? Money is no money at all. We need to convince our people that there's benefit in one going to school. There's a lot of school dropout. Because they've lost interest. Many of them are not interested. We need to convince them. And you increase stakeholder in this industry. Very great stakeholder. So if you come out to talk, people must we know and they must understand on the ground that they've seen what you've been able to do. Have you been granted scholarship to study abroad? It is not easy. And there's never a time that it is going to be easy. And that is why we have been able to say, okay, we don't have one, we have only one professor, academic professor, academic, one essay, an academic essay here in the world. Who is he? He's the only essay in the world. I say no, we can't continue like this. It will not be. I can't finish being a governor and will not have up to 10 SPM in this department. Even if my leg work, we will drop. We must. Our states can't be looked down on the way people are trying to do it. You see, and I said, what is the criteria? They said, okay, the person must have office. I said, we'll provide office. Good places. <laughs> who and who are the fate of getting SM? MBA got nominated, denominated seven. And I said, okay, I'm going to provide land. I've provided land now. I've provided money. I've provided money for the building of the offices. I've provided money for buying more books. I say I will build the office myself, two places, I will build the office. And the money has been provided to Minister of Justice. Hundred percent. <laughs> and I give them the 27, 27th day of February to finish the building. By March. Let the seven lawyers be in the office for me to visit them. That is what this me joy. Likewise, many of you here who are professionals in your field, and you don't have the opportunity to establish your office, 
the opportunity has come. This is the time we must practice what we study. And that is why I said, when we are sending people, we should send people that will go there and make different. When they come back, the society will know that, yes, a boy has come off edge. You can't get up and say, yes, we are this and we are that, and at the end of the day, we won't be able to produce anything. Like I've said in so many occasions, there is no functional industry in this state. These are the questions I've been asking all of you. Why did you go to abroad? When you can go to abroad and come back and do impact, the impact will not be known. No functional industry. No one. Would I have it? Or government to offer the financial support. Because once you get that industry, you will employ more than 20. And the graduate of that discipline will not be roaming around asking for job. That is what I want. And sorting machines were paid for the five machines needed in that. <laughs> and that's why I said, by June, we will have two functional industries. <laughs> we have a program for that. When you come to say, I I have a program for that. And when I will start to afford it, you start seeing it. And I'm sure you're not in heaven. It's the same thing we're doing in the health sector. And I say that if you listen to my address during my inauguration, that the principals of schools, principals of schools will be more than will be more equipped than any civil servant in the state. I will never allow you to regret coming back. Amen. As far as you're working for the government, whether in the university or in ministry, I will never allow you to regret your coming back. I will never. Because those people that are there in London, if they are enjoying themselves, it's supposed to be better than them. So if we place you in a very high place and you give service, because it's when you're comfortable that you can give very enormous service. Yes. If you are hungry and you have so many issues, you won't have the opportunity of giving any enormous service to anybody. If somebody say, please leave me, it's like when you are taking much and your wife is tapping at your back, will you listen to her? Yes. It's the same thing with knowledge. It can't flow. When you're sick and hungry, a hungry man is an angry man, he's a sick person too. So as you're going to help us, we are very much disposed to help you. I am constituting scholarship board. By Tuesday next week, they'll be sworn in. And I will not put any of you. I will put politicians so that you will serve as a consultant and you do proper screening that I want. <laughs> because if I put any of you, when you see him, you say, ah, he's my friend, and what he wants is what he wants. It is not true. We want the best. Anybody that didn't have two one in first class, it's not going anywhere. That is if we say allow people with two to and to class to apply, then the whole state will apply and will not control the crowd. That is why we say first class and two one. It's not because they are best. 
but it's because we want to reduce the pressure. And we increase the number from 100, because 100 was for that last year. Because my intention is to at least train 1,000 before I leave office.